everybody! Today the bookworms are going to be reading Ollie on Stage by Keith Brockett and illustrated by Ashley King. Big Ollie the Ogre met up with his friends at the theater one bright afternoon. Upon its marquee, written big as could be, they read, Talent Show, coming here soon. A sign on the wall said, Performers, come all. Don't be shy. Put your skills to the test. Take part in our talent show. Win the grand prize if the audience thinks you're the best. I'm dying to get up on stage, Ollie said. And now look, this is it. Here's my chance. His friend said, but Ollie, you've never performed. Can you sing? Can you act? Can you dance? Well, no, he replied. So I'll have to learn fast. But what talents had he to display? Like all ogres, he had incredible strength. Would it help him or get in his way? I wish I could dance like the leprechaun Lou. He's a favorite with almost any crowd. Old Lou always tab danced in top hat and tails, and the cheers would grow rowdy and loud. So Ollie bought tap shoes and went to a class, and he worked himself, ragged and sore, but try as he might, he just clumsily stopped, and at last he crashed right through the floor. His big ogre feet were too heavy to tap. He considered what else he might do. He knew his friend Benny would sing in the show. Ollie asked him, may I join too? Of course, Benny said. A duet will be fun. But when Ollie attempted to sing, he bellowed so loudly and sharply off key. Benny's eardrums soon started to ring. So singing was out, Ollie thought. How about a mysterious magic display? Pull rabbits from hats and make doves disappear. And from nowhere, I'll pluck out a bouquet. He put on a top hat and long flowing cape and he waved a black wand in the air. But whoops, his thick fingers just snapped it into two, causing sparks that ignited his hair. He then tried to act out a scene from a play, but at at least half his lines he'd forget. He soon became angry and lost all control, and in tantrums he tore down the set. He begged his friend Sylvie to teach him ballet. Well, of course I will, Ollie, she said. A grand ballerina must have a strong partner to lift up over her head. So Ollie said, thank you, let's start right away. And he picked Sylvie up from the floor and tossed her so high that she didn't come down for at least half an hour or more. Poor Sylvie exclaimed, you don't know your own strength. I'm afraid I can't partner with you, which left Ollie thinking, my strength is a curse that will ruin whatever I do. Dejected, disheartened, he ran off the stage with his mind in a terrible stew. He wanted to throw things, to cry out and scream. For his dream, it seemed, couldn't come true. And then he just lost it. He rampaged around, throwing boulders and trees in the air. His friends yelled, Look out! As things crashed all about, he was giving them all a real scare. Oh no! Then he cried. A tree Ollie had tossed was about to crash down on Ben's head. It jerked Ollie back to his senses at last when he saw his friend cringing in dread. Good heavens, gasped Ollie. Oh, what have I done? And he raced to save Ben from the tree. He caught it, but then he had to toss it back up so his hands could thereafter be free. To catch a huge rock that was falling toward Lou, which he then had to toss up in turn to catch the same tree falling back upon Ben. Very quickly, he started to learn that, hey, this is fun. I could do this all day. I'm enjoying this catch and toss game. His friends were amazed. Then he said, Ollie, wow, this just might be your ticket to fame. So when the red curtain went up for the show, Ollie gave them a juggling routine an act so sensational, everyone gasped, for it wasn't like anything they'd seen. He juggled big boulders and blocks of cement, things that no one else could ever lift. Truck motors and tree stumps, he tossed them with the ease and a skill where that was a nibble and swift. The audience loved it. 
They chanted his name. Ollie wins. He's the best. They all cried. They gave him his first prize, but it couldn't compare to his wonderful feeling of pride. And then Ollie's friend wanted in his honest act as a team they perform near and far in circuses. Ollie now juggles his friends. With their help, he becomes a big star. The end. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more read-alongs. Until next time, bye.